second round of applauses to the provincial governor, Honorable Joseph Matthew Marcus Menado. Welcome to be a part of this celebration. Kasko na tayo mo ng alinea iti himno ti Ili, Ilia Marcus Anagasa. This today, we exclaim the fortune that we had for that 60 years of being Ili a Marcus. Negligible in area, but popular in name. Recently minted, but in history and color. Relatively remote, serenely placed. Blessed as a paradise is blessed. Laid back in character, but assertive in its stench. Sandwiched by booming sisters, but enjoying its own prestige. A haven of peace, a bastion of tradition. Tiny but sprightly, and it is coming. Ascending, roaring to life, that is the Ely of Marcus. Ladies and gentlemen, Gagayem Ken Kakabsat, we welcome you to this grand celebration, the Marcus 60th founding anniversary and inauguration of the three-story multi-purpose building with the theme, Marcus at 60, Binadang Kentimpuyo, by Lady Di Ili Magunhod. As exclaimed in the lines of the Marcus hymn, and to begin this milestone in our municipality, may we all rise as we praise and thank God for all the blessings that He keeps on pouring us through an invocation by the Deaf Ed Elementary. After which, may we remain standing for the singing of the Philippine National Anthem with the Deaf Ed Elementary leading.
Jesus has to offer. Marcus, isang munting bayang may nakakubling kayamanan. Kayamanan na hindi nakikita sa laki o leen ng lupa at populasyon, wala sa angking talino at karunungan, wala sa kaban ng bayan. Ang tunay na kayamanan ay nakasalalay sa mga taong taus-pusong naglilingkod sa bayan. This is the legacy that the leader in which the name Marcus was coined left to us. And this legacy lives in the hearts of our municipal officials as they continue to serve our beloved town. May we request our guest of honor and speaker, Governor Matthew J. Marcus Manotto, together with Police Colonel Julius C. Suriben, for the Great Lane Ceremony. The Great Lane Ceremony is the offering of flowers at a memorial site. This has been observed and understood around the world. The floral tributes and writ a great laying bespeak both beauty and brevity of life here on earth. To offer the wreath are Governor Matthew J. Marcus Manotto, Mayor Antonio B. Mariano, Police Colonel Julius C. Suriben, and Police Major John Vale Marama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great playing ceremony shall now begin. The Republic Act was finally approved on June 28, 1963. But Marcus Town was formally separated from her mother municipality, the town of Miralas, on September 11, 1963, which dates coincides with the birthday of the late President Ferdinand Edwin Marcus. The town has six original barangays, namely Bidi, Kaparihan, Alabahan, Agunin, Rakas, and Pulau. These barangays were further submitted nearby tracing barangays into 12 barangays. Bidi became Lija and Balkos. Barangay Kaparihan became Melda and Mabuti. Barangay became the Kiwal and Fortuna. Barangay Ragas became Tagubu and Santiago. Pulau was divided into three, namely, Kakapian was annexed thereby. Marcus has now a total of turfing barangays. The 60 years of the municipality of Marcus showcase the greatness and goodness of our Almighty Father, giving us leaders who are always ready to serve our town. The 60 years has been of all challenges and struggles, but now behold, the 60th founding anniversary of the municipality of Marcus.
this night? Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the wreath laying ceremony. First and foremost, I acknowledge our dis distinguished dis guests. Honorable Governor. Marjo Marcos Manetong, sir. Uh, Vice Governor Honorable Cecilia Araneta Marcos. Iti ako nga kawartis. Iti ako nga previous na nag-serve-serve iti Lea Marcos. Thank you for coming, sirs, ma'am. Iti member of the Sanggunyang Bayan, iti Lea Marcos na itagaluan, iti iti Bajme Yortayo, alang Kuluma, Iti, iti apu nga barangay official nga i dadaluan ni apu ABC President at Samuel Puluma. Iti kamkamin, iti sanggol niyang kapataan official headed by PPSK President Honorable Medic K. B.F. Rauda Municipal Employees Dagiti Department Heads Ken Dagiti Apo Kam Kameng Ti Apo Kapulisan Ti Namang Kikita Ti Lina Kintal Na Not Only In The Municipal Ti Marcos buat pemerintah provinsi kita terluar ni aku pilih curious sorry bencer begitu aku member itu VIP begitu aku akademik sektor the religious sektor entol ubawa dekat I just want to mention our friend, uh, Mayor Robert Aguinaldo from Pasoken. I said, for me, Prangi Patimbog, it's an invitation to Nanomong Gayemo. And to other guests, I wish you all a pleasant morning and happy Sixth founding anniversary and the inauguration of our municipal court. Uh, it was 60 years since this town was established, and from then on, our story of success unfolds. It was on June 22, 1963. When this town was created, which was formerly part of the municipality of Tingas. By virtue of the Republic Act number 3753, this town was named in honor of the late Don Marian Rubio Marcos. The author of this act was former Congressman Simeon M. Valdez of the 2nd District of Ilocos, Norte. 
Today, we celebrate our 60th anniversary with a team. Mark was at 60, Binadang Kentimpoyo, Balegi Itimaguna. Our town was met with various challenges since it was founded. But through these challenges, we became better. We always had the guidance of the Lord because it is He that we seek first in time of crisis. And it is He that we thank first when we are blessed with opportunities. Throughout the years, we have shown what we are capable of. We are resilient and strong if we work together. Because if we are alone, there is only little we can do. Through our ununified efforts, we can achieve everything that we dream for our life. This town came to be because of people cooperation, will to succeed and good governance. Part of this town's success is created to our past officials. We have to learn from them and their vision help us past officials. We have learned the vision that they that they pursue. And it is only right to recognize and award them effort today. On behalf of the people of Marcos and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for serving our town with your utmost sincerity. I wonder what the future holds for our town, because this time are uncertain, but despite that, I am still relieved and confident because of the people beside me. The relentless support and guidance contributed a lot to the betterment of municipality. Words are not enough to express my gratitude to these people because to no words or amount can measure up to their contributed efforts. These efforts are manifested in this new municipal building that has now become a new attraction in our municipality and more development that is too many to mention. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to thank the DDAP uh, department heads because of Kindle Gitiapu at Sangonia, 11 Sangonia and the 12 Sangonia. Without them, Apo. The municipality of Marcos, Hall, Hanya, Maranita. But because of them, I, 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 Na halang na siya kitinendengger da ako, pati siya tinanunod ko ida. I listen to them. Halang na siya timapapapati ako, daka maami. Banya timakita nga nasaysaya, iso iti mapatok mapanood. Halang na kaporta siya kitinendengger siya kitinayor, wano hen hindi 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 Kaya pagyamanat ka na kayo hapo at ipakman. And continue to contribute your know-how how how to lang na ito yung administration not to dikit-dikit-dikit-dikit sumarsara na. Keep your good work hapo. This is only and I'm proud that this is the only start. We still have a long way to go, but we, in the local government unit of Marcos, will always do our best to give our constituents the best service that they deserve. And that is, that is good government. 
And lastly, before I end my message, I want to say my personal mantra. If, I, if we walk together, walk together, and pray together, I believe we can make Marcos Town a great municipality. Have a blessed day and happy 60th anniversary of our beloved town. Silent drill by the Locos Norte Police Mobile Force Company, 2nd District, led by Police Major Fernando Fernandez Jr. and under the leadership of Police Major Fernando L. Fernandez Jr., Acting Force Commander, Love, People and Country, there are things for which we live. They give us strength and inspiration to persevere in the face of adversity, sacrifice, as we break contribute the vanguards, as we're certain to safeguard within the PNP, which entrusted in force and law to prevent and control crimes, maintain peace and order, and ensure public safety and internal security with the active support of the community. Once again, the second PMC Manopi Silent Leader, Mabak Talkan, Alisto at the Antoret Ken Tarigagay at Serpiti Provincia. Pangko!
when the Philippine Constabulary and Greater National Police were merged pursuant to Republic Act 6975 of 1990. The PNP is thus enforcing the law to prevent and control facts, maintain peace and order, and internal security with the active support of the community. that the police are warriors with a heart and soul dedicated to protecting the Filipino people from North of Region 1 to a South of Turbos region of Muslim Mindanao. One of the missions is securing peace of our people for its war that we fight for peace. The observation of people who are facing all adversities and difficulties in our path. Dominos also stands for destructible force, the PNP protecting the interests of people. They stand and firm against spirit to the populace. This also symbolizes an ending commitment of law enforcement to all times within the reach of the Filipino.
and a random salute. We say no turning back. Be good, courage to finish the battle you have started. Mapagtalkan, alisto at daan to red ken tarigagan ng agsarbito pabinsya. Once again, the Manong Pinis Siren Thrillers. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. May we get a big big round of applauses to the personnel of the second IMPMFC led by Police Major Fernando L. Fernandez Jr. Also with the Provincial Director Manong Pini Julius Sergio. Casco and Eugenio Navarro and our ABC. Uh, lahat ng kapitanes po natin led by ABC Sam Coloma, our PPSK Mary Kay Rauda. Uh, at lahat po ng mga barangay officials, all the municipal officials. And of course, ang uh, ating vice, Gobernadora Cecilia Araneta Marcos, our visiting mayors. Robert Aguinaldo of Pasukin and Jeffrey Saghid of Dingras. To our PNP, uh, talagang hard act to follow. Itong uh, dance number kanina. Nain ko lang nakita ang uh, nakapulis uniform at uh, nag uh, tempot mo tawag doon. Ocho, ocho. Baka iba na yung tingin ng mga Marcosenyo sa mga polis na yun. <coughs> of course, we greet everyone from the BNP event by our PD Julius Riben and our COP, Jonavale Barama, and our all of those from the BNP led by Emily Mangawil to our dear Demet family to everyone from the Municipio, to Reverend Father Frederick Victorio Astudillo, sa lahat na kakalingko na nandito sa ating 60th founding anniversary. Of course, uh, I'm here representing ang ating Senadora, Amy Marcos, 
Uh, though wala po akong uh, direct na mensahe na galing po sa kanya, of course, gusto ko lang po uh, i-express ang uh, kanyang full support and uh, uh, commendation no, and celebration with you on this special event for Marcos Town. Of course, uh, as I always say, Marcos Town holds a special place in the hearts of our family. No? Talagang uh, uh, napaka-special itong munisipyo sa amin, not only because it carries our name, but also uh, dahil po alam po natin ito ay isa sa pinakabatang munisipyo sa Ilocos Norte. Kumbaga, uh, it's like a uh, parang anak ng uh, aming pamilya. And of course, um, it still uh, holds relevance and uh, much importance na ang uh, pangalan po namin no, ay uh, ginamit po. Of course, named after, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the first congressman in our family, Don Mariano Marcos. So, uh, on behalf of uh, PJN, on behalf of the over 600,000 Ilocanos, I would like to wish Marcos Town a very, very happy 60th founding anniversary. And also, congratulations po sa ating uh, multi-purpose building, if I'm not mistaken, which we will be um, inaugurating and blessing today. But sa tingin ko po, uh, napakahalaga ang sinabi ni Mayor Tony kanina that these buildings, though impressive, are not the true testament of service. At uh, ginamit po niya um, word at ang term na service. And that is what we really want to prioritize. The impact that we have on our people in ensuring that they have uh, enough as far as their own resources, as far as uh, their own capacities and their own education, their own health, and their own food. Of course, we see Marcos as uh, uh, an agricultural municipio, but we still need to improve uh, in many, many aspects. And as your governor, uh, I want to express my full, full support to any and all livelihood projects dito po sa Marcos Town. Yan po ang tutok po namin this year. Uh, may we work together. Uh, not only on infrastructure, but also on agriculture and tourism and um, livelihood. And when we talk of agriculture, not only uh, mere crops, but also uh, those with uh, uh, that can be additional income, no? magaya ng livestock. Kaya, I look forward to working with the municipio and the barangay capitans and everyone here at Marcos as a great Ilocano once said, let us make Marcos town great again. In edit ko lang, he didn't say that quite like that. But uh, of course, uh, we know the greatness that rests here in Marcos town and it's incumbent upon us to bring out the greatness that lies here. Kaya, uh, I encourage all of us, both in the public and private sector, sama-sama po tayo, in line with your theme today, sama-sama po tayo, to work towards the Marcos that we envision, the Marcos that we dream of, and the Marcos that we hope for. Sa inyong lahat, I wish you another 60 years of great success and beyond, and rest assured, Vila, Gobernador po ninyo, I am with you all the way. Agbiag Marcos, Agbiag Ilocos Norte. Just check me that. Thank you very much, Honorable Governor, Honorable Joseph Matthew Marcos Manolo, or PNP officials, our Manong PD, Sir Julius Suriben, to witness the award. And also, the Chief of Police of the Municipality of Marcos and the Acting Force Commander of INPMFC. So please
Ladies and gentlemen, let us all witness our secondary students in their flash mob performance.
become great among you, let him be your servant. Friends, may we all listen to the one of the most beautiful women, Ilocano woman, and adopted daughter of the Provincia Ti Ilocos North, No Water Town, our ever beauties, Vice Governor, Honorable Cecilia Araneda Marcos. Ay, mi abigad ka na kayo, I mean, ako. It really is a great day to celebrate the founding anniversary of uh, the Ili of Marcos. I would like to greet and congratulate our mayor, uh, Mayor Tony Mariano, along with Vice Mayor Ronel Alan Coloma for the celebration. And along with the SB members, Norman Kalawagan, Janice De La Cruz, Edward Mendoza, James Gakula, Richard Noval, Telwin Tapawan, Julius Casco, and Eugenio Navarro, along with ABC President Samuel Coloma, along with all the barangay officials, BHWs, Tanots, and the PPSK, uh, President Mary Kay Irauda, and of course our um, PD Colonel, Poli uh, Police Colonel Julius Ruben, and PNP Marcos, headed by Chief of Police Major John Abel Maramag, and along with BFP Marcos, Emeline Mangawil, the Dead Ed family, the municipal heads, personnel, Reverend Father, Frederick Astudillo, and all the visiting mayors, thank you for joining us. Uh, first, we have Mayor Robert Aguinaldo from Pasukir. We have uh, Mayor Jeffrey Sagid of Dingras, and of course, Mayor uh, Nico de la Cruz of Bacara. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, today is indeed a mem memorable day because we are celebrating six decades of the Marcos founding anniversary. Bale, senior citizen na po si Marcos. <laughs> and uh, we really thank you for joining us as we celebrate this, um, this momentous occasion. Of course, I would like to get, greet um, our governor, Governor Matthew Marcos Manoto for gracing this occasion and for speaking on behalf of Senator Aimee Marcos. And um, really, uh, today is really indeed a great day. I remember during our inauguration last time, uh, ang pagkasabi po ni Senadora Aimee, eh, sabi niya, tulungan naman natin ang Marcos kasi it bears our name. So just as Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok said, along with our Senator, we offer our fullest support for the progress here in Marcos. And even this, this uh, edifice, the new municipal hall is truly a, a, a testament of how uh, the great progress has been ushered in by our Mayor Tony Mariano, along with all the different SB members and of course Vice Mayor um, Alan Coloma. And uh, we congratulate everyone for decades of enthusiastically upholding the Ilocano culture, heritage, and values. You know, Marcos has a special place in my heart because it not only is named Don Mariano Marcos uh, uh, after the patriarch of the family, but also because of my husband, who's named after his Lolo, Don Mariano Marcos. So Nono is named after Mariano Marcos. So truly we are one with our fellow Marcosenos and uh, may you inspire the younger generation to remain strong and united amidst the discouragements as we all together venture towards inclusive development and sustainable future. Again, I share with you the joy and pride in celebrating this very significant occasion. May this gathering further strengthen our camaraderie as one municipality. Naragsak nga anniversaryo, agbyag ti ilib ti Marcos, and Diyos munay ti Thank you so much.
presented by Honorable Governor Matthew Joseph Manok together with our Vice Governor and our Executive Leader Honorable Antonio Mariano together with the members of the Sangguniang Bayan headed by Honorable Ronel Alan Coloma and other platform guests together with the Director General of the 60th Founding Anniversary MS Evelyn I. Villanueva to witness the awarding of the outstanding Marcos Senios. <laughs> Madam Imelda Manuel to please be at the stage. is awarded to Mr. Philip Joshua S. Aliga, Outstanding Marcus and the Youth. May we request our awardee together with his family to please be at the stage.
outstanding Marcos Senius. Truly, you are a gem and the Pudno Kinagasa Tiili of Marcos. And at this time, we shall be awarding also the champion for the documentary film blog contest in celebration of the Marcos 60th founding anniversary. And the champion of the documentary film of the blog contest is Mr. Mark Anthony Malinay of Barangay Pacific of Marcos, Ilocos North. in the making. This is the 60th founding anniversary and at this time, we are now officially opening the newly built Marcus Town Hall and may we request once more our municipal mayor together with our honorable governor, honorable Joseph Matthew Marcus Manodok, our vice governor, Mom Cecilia Renetta Marcus, and other platform guests for the ribbon cutting of the new Marcos Town Hall in celebration of the 60th founding anniversary.
certificate of recognition is awarded to former municipal mayor for eight years and eleven months, municipal vice mayor for four and a half months, and somebody on bayan member for three years. Former municipal mayor honorable Salvador S. Pilos. Represented by Ms. Margie Alvarez. We also have here certificate of recognition is awarded to Rofel R. Pambil for being the acting municipal mayor for one year and nine months and municipal vice mayor for one month and Tambunyang Bayan member for eight years and seven months. Once again, former mayor, Honorable Rofel R. Pambil. May we get a big round of applause for a certificate of recognition will be awarded to our incumbent Vice Mayor Honorable Rodel Alan Makaraeg Coloma for acting for being an acting municipal mayor for two and a half months, Vice Mayor for one year and nine months, and somebody on Bayan member for 17 days. Certificate of Recognition is also awarded to Arsenio Ariel. 
Awards, represented by Ma'am Angelita Arios Paponsa. For five years, this award will be given to the representative Madam Maui Lu. Certificates of recognition will be awarded to Mr. Julio Menor, former Sakuriang Bayan member for 21 years, represented by Mr. Meldrick Menor. Certificate of recognition is also awarded to Francisco C. Manuel, Sakuriang Bayan member for 12 years and Barangay Captain of Barangay Santiago for 5 years. He's Thank you. 
Katsu, former Barangay Captain, Herman G. Dumayas of Barangay Santiago. Certificate of Recognition is also awarded to Marty and Gabriel for being the San Julian Bayan member for 12 years, represented by Mom Merlin Gabriel. of recognition will be given to Ms. Arlene Peralta, former KB President. <laughs> Represented by Mr. Reynante Bumangla. Yeah, the 
certificates of recognition to former Sangguniang Bayan member for nine years, Honorable Ronald Santiago. Certificate of recognition is also awarded to the late Joseph C. Purpose for being the PPS team president for five years and three months, represented by Ma'am Jaisal R. Purpose. A certificate of recognition is given to former Symphony of Bayan member Warner T. Guillermo. Certificate of recognition is also awarded to Nobel R. Kalawagan for being Symphony of Bayan member for nine years and the ABC president for six years and the barangay captain of Barangay Mabuti for 11 years. Honorable Noel Kalawagan, on behalf of Honorable Noel, may we request our SBM Norman Kalawagan to award a tourism certificate. May we also award a certificate of recognition to former SBM Honorable Ignacio Agustin. Represented by Mon Merlin Agustin. The former Sangguniang Bayan member, Honorable Stewart de la Cruz. This certificate of recognition is also awarded to Alwin Ajerico F. Pilos for being the Sangguniang Bayan member for three years. Certificates of recognition will be awarded to former BBS King President Mark Von Vince R. Damaso. Certificate of recognition is also awarded to Ryan Dave C. Lobo for being the PTSP president for nine months. Let us also acknowledge a somebody by a member for three years and the Puno Barangay of the Hukbong for 15 years, former SPM Honorable Ines S. Killian. Let us also acknowledge a former Sangguniang Bayan member and the Barangay Captain of Barangay Ferdinand, former SPM Helen B. Abrigado. To Barangay Chairman Tracolo Bata. Certificate of recognition is also awarded to Melesio Lorenzo.
nosso Baby Noel e Bowie, da Baranga e da Quimó.
Jose na Barangay Escoda.
Arsenios. We place ourselves in the presence of the Mighty Father. Loving Father, in the name of Jesus, send us your Holy Spirit. O God, source of all good things, we praise and bless you for your wondrous deeds. All that we have come from your boundless goodness and generosity. We respond to all of these with humble and grateful hearts. Lord Jesus, we are so grateful for all our great leaders whom you have given us. They are our selfless and generous government leaders of our country, headed by our President Ferdinand Bombo Romualdez Marcus Jr., the leaders of our province, headed by our Governor, governor Matthew Marcus Manoto, together with our dear Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcus, and the officials of the municipality under the leadership of Mayor Antonio Mariano. More so, we are ever more thankful for the presence of our beloved other special guests, our deans, visitors, and friends, whom we have called to be the Marcosenios, to be with the Marcosenios on this blessed and joyful day of celebration. We express our heartfelt and prayerful gratitude. You have given them to us as blessings, for they have shared everything you have given them to meet the needs of every citizen in our country, especially in the province of Ilocos Norte, particularly in the municipality of Marcos. Everything is in accordance to your will, O God. Today, as we celebrate the 60th founding anniversary of our town, Marcos, you have given a gift to Marcos Senos through our generous leaders then and now. We express our profound gratitude to you, O Lord. The multi-purpose building of the municipality of Marcos will serve as a living testimony and the best place where our leaders, employees, and the Marcosenos will collaborate to achieve the town's mission, vision, and objectives. Lord, we beseech you to bless this multi-purpose building and consecrate this area in accordance to your plans. May it be a place for innovation, productivity, teamwork, and leadership where everyone is invited to contribute and share their abilities to improve the lives of every Marcos senior in order to make Marcos town a model to every town and to make Marcos town great. May it be a place where everybody can foster relationships, create unity, and advance the wisdom and knowledge to understand your grace and your love. As you extend your blessing, O oh Lord, we pray that your presence will be evident in this place and that everybody will always be mindful of your guidance and direction as they do their work, their duties and responsibilities and their mission to serve. Lord Jesus, we ask that you keep this place secure from any harm and temptations. Keep them safe from any potential obstacles or disturbances. May this be a haven of peace and security where everybody can feel confident, secure, and protected because of your loving presence. We pray that you lead each one to strive to serve others with joy and love for your greater glory and honor. May they always strive to cooperate with kindness respect and compassion and may they always be mindful of the needs of anybody who comes along their way may our blessed mother and lay embrace everyone with their motherly care and protection and may our patron san antonio de Padua intercedes we ask all these through our lord jesus christ your son in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and shall be, world without end. Amen. 
May Almighty God bless this multi-purpose building. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.